we're just getting done here. Make sure I'm making the right turn here. I can't, I can't see yet. Take it slow up here because man, you can't see to get out. That's up here on uh, Annandale, Lake Arrowhead. Clearing this uh, elderly couple's driveway so they can come up. Hopefully tomorrow. Wow, there's a porch. Oh, it looks like they lost a porch right there. Yeah, the porch collapsed. Ouch. That's the first one I think I've seen. But, for uh, five hours of cardio, boy, uh, the guy... Uh, Jeremy, he was gonna try and get over, but he had that, he blew a axle bearing. He was at Napa getting parts and fixing it, but he had a couple people in front of us. That's right, I don't even know if he got to the other people. He was still working it when I left. He said he didn't need any help, but they tore it off pretty quick, got it over to Napa, so they looked like they were knew what they were doing. Thank you, Jeremy, for trying to get to us. black ugly snow now it's, it's starting to break off I'd say about a quarter of it's melted you can see the big chunks breaking off from what they told me the residents are saying yeah, about a quarter past two days it's been 50 degrees and it's really melting like crazy which is good get these berms down where you can see some stop signs I got me I brought some flow paint with me this time just if I had to paint addresses or for the disaster, disaster preparedness kit, you can mark uh, buried vehicles, SOS, need food, whatever. I'm not sure what road we just turned on to. Grass Valley? I'm not sure. Or I think we're parallel in Grass Valley. Fairway Drive. See how all the runoff and everything's melting and falling over. So it's going to be sunny to much today. Monday, Tuesday, and other storms. I think it's going to rain. Uh, the rain would be good to melt this down, but then it's going to, you know, we're going to have flooding issues maybe. Oh, yeah, turn my, got my lights on. Temp's like 46 degrees now, so it's dropped. Four or five degrees, yeah, it got, we had the time change, but it definitely, uh, when that sun hit the ridge, it got chilly. Oh, let's see here, I think I gotta go left down here, yeah, my map says, clubhouse, clubhouse over to 179, 173, who's got a stop sign? So look at that one right there. That one's just down Melbourne where you can see it. Crazy. I don't know. This reminds me of Mammoth. Hey, here's Grass Valley. You know, Mammoth, they're used to this. There's big walls of snow. Oh. Mammoth, Reno. I, I've seen this up in Reno. Tahoe area, Mammoth, uh, where else? That's about the deepest I've seen snow like that, like this. Where they're kind of used to it, you know, operating in it. SoCal isn't, this is like a once in a lifetime storm. Two blizzards back to back. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Oh, we're gonna put some heat on here. Thank you to, uh, Nancy and Nate for offering the cabin. That way I can stay up here and I can hit this in the morning. I only got about four hours, five hours of shoveling in. I'd go about 45 minutes and then take a break. That's some that's some cardio, boy. It, heavy and wet. A lot of ice in it, too. Along the berm was the hardest to break down with a shovel. It, it was, uh, get down toward the bottom. It was like ice. It's a big ball. I think I got to go left here. Yeah, Blue Jay, we want to go this way. Been a while since they hung out up here. Used to play hockey in Blue Jay. That was fun. But they lost the roof to a snow collapse. And 
If I remember right, they had kids in there for a birthday party or something. They had just left. So lucky. Oh, get over. Yeah, you gotta squeeze over. They were so lucky that those kids weren't in there. And the potholes up here, man, that's a woo. are there, the big old loaders. I guess I don't have a stop sign or... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I guess I got a stop sign. I'm not sure. <coughs> I don't think I had a stop sign, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't going to test it out. Yeah, I got to go up and catch like Daily Canyon over. No fog. at the center line. One night I ran into a girl God, I felt so bad. She was going to Big Bear and she hadn't even made Arrowhead and uh, I said, you're not going to make Big Bear. Just turn around, follow me down, get a hotel or whatever. And uh, She was freaked out. It, it freaks some people out really bad. She was freaked out real bad. And up here, if you if you follow the fog line or the center line, you'll end up on a side road. I remember one night I followed it up to uh, by Rosarinas. I I think I went up Press Forest. I might get this guy off my tail. He's gonna tailgate me all the way, and I don't want to have to hit the brakes and have that. Jerk off one into me. And luckily, Nancy and Nate's cabin is right off the 18. It's, that's, she said it was really uh, quick off. You don't have to wind around back into some neighborhood on a narrow ass street. I just hope I can make it up the steps. Wow, that's a workout. I haven't shoveled snow like that, I think, since I was a kid. That deep and that icy, that wet and heavy. I ended up, snow shovel would be too much. You can't grab a bite with a big snow shovel with it. It's too much to pick up. You'd be doing like a third of a snow shovel. I'm using a square tip shovel metal. Uh, and you're having to chunk it out. Yeah, there's a loader. I had to, I'm like cutting out big snow blocks, ice blocks, you know, chunk it out and then flipping it. 
because you can't pick up and when you go to break it up it breaks off into big big chunks you can't pick them up they're too heavy so I'm making like little one foot by one foot cubes that's why it's so slow you can't really it's not a powdery snow Turn out for me. Oh, thank you, guy. Look at him go around him. I know he's going into the park. And I can't really see. 13 minutes more. Hey! Oh, that's right. I gotta go back over the by heaps. Go by Santa's village. will help see that line a little better I got one fog like it out I didn't I was able to change the headlight but I still got a fog right out of which I've been able to get to that yeah, there's the cow train yard and I passed the chippy yard back there that was I was like what the heck he's protecting that bobcat as that bobcat's going back wherever that truck said something yard where's Aaliyah's I think I need to hit one of those places coming out of here tomorrow for supper or lunch hopefully we can get to my lunch I can get a bobcat or skits or a little tractor in there. We can knock that out by lunch. Oh man, this fog. I think we're Sky Forest. Yeah, we're coming up to Sky Park, the old Santa's Village here. We can see a little bit. They had a lot of the equipment staged down here at Sky Park. On the right and left. I think this may even be Fire Camp on the left there. Yeah, they got tons of. Yeah, that looks like a, I may stop in the mom. See what's up. I think that's one of the CPs, uh, check, not check, command post. They got some over there. They got that cleared off. Some trailers in there where they're dropping off stuff. See a lot of uh, the berms collapsing over here. Like Jinx Lake was really bad. Highway 18 a little bit over by Crestline. Jinx Lake seemed to be the worst, but that just started with this warm temps. Yeah, we're going 
go by the Heaps Peak Arboretum. We're going to go by the dump. Heaps Peak, the comm site, where the towers are. Usually what I would do, in the fog you see the trains, you'll get like eight, ten cars and they'll, they'll all follow the brave leader guy. I think that was the guy, I think it was Jeremy right there. I was wondering if he's gonna have trouble with that hub. Excuse me, that hub. We're getting up by the comm site now, the dump's up here. The National Forest has a uh, heli uh, heliport up here. A little forestry uh, station. It's up on the hill here, you can't really see it. Dump's coming up, quarter mile. Damn. Oh, look at the guardrails. <laughs> the plows. Of, they got some guardrails to fix in the spring. I think the plows tore that one up. Yeah, there's the dump. During the, uh, what fire was that? Well, there's a site. You can see the towers right here. Heaps Peak. El Dorado fire that night. That, that the, uh, hot shot got killed. Shirley Morton. I drove down that night. And uh, the rollout, the logs were rolling out. The boulders. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, when I got to about mile marker 17 on Highway 38. There had just been a slide. The dust was still coming up. I was like, holy crap, and big, big rocks. And out of the dust and darkness came a big blade. I just saw the blade coming at me, and I thought, oh, man, I'm going to die right here. And it was a Caltrans guy. He was scraping the boulders up. He didn't see me the last second. I had my yellows going and everything, my caution, construction cautions. And he stopped, and, he, you know, I, I gave him a thumbs up, and I, uh, he kind of, like, plowed to the side of me which allowed me to be able to go through. And I just, I hit that little gap that he had cleared and got the hell out of there. And it, it, it covered that road. I mean, I was glad if I'd have been about three or four seconds quicker. Oh man, that would have been bad news. That was, that was a bad slide. The UPS truck got hit up there and there was holes through the side of that panel truck where the rocks went right through it. Five minutes more to get to the cabin. This is great. I don't have to go down the mountain. That's a long drive. When you're tired, then you gotta come up. springs now up here where uh, 330 meets it the little uh, intersection right outside of downtown running freaks kind of sits off to the side like a little what do you call it service road they can call it on the interstate when they're yeah see there's, there's got the loaders work good Gump wave. I 
the roads are now open now. All the roads are open to public. 18, 330, 38, 138, coming out of Silverwood, I, I believe so. That's the shortcut down to 330, but man, it's a steep, twisty. I, I wouldn't even attempt it. I don't know how narrow that gets. I saw somebody go up it at the lower end. It didn't look. It looked plowed pretty good, but I'm not going to. Uh, see, look at the walls. This is like mammoth. And then if you want to go into town. on 18, but there's a little side road. There's a Cal Fire guy or a County Fire guy. Water District. Fire Station. I saw a guy in the news, kind of an older guy, grayed out here and beard. He was talking about, he, he does rescue out of Big Bear, I think, you know, four wheel driver uh, recovery. And he was saying business was good when it was closed to just residents. The Wahoos were trying to come up, you know, the forestry roads. <laughs> good luck with that. There's eight foot of snow back there. And he, he was saying he was doing four or five a day. I don't know, but they usually, uh, God, when I, I got pulled out once in Fort Liggett, it was 200 bucks. I've heard, I've heard 400 just would show up, you know. Remember the world drive. Big old best VIP, big old party bus. Uh, we're getting close to town. There's a, I think there's a right turn up here. Village Market. Ooh, something smells good. God dang. I think that goes down into town there, and then there's one up here. Boy, that was, smelled like steak. That smelled really good. Tapeworm got a whiff of that, which is he's banging on the pipes. He thinks his, he thinks my throat's been cut. And somebody else on the tailgating again. All right, but we ain't going any faster. cafe down here and Every, yeah, that, that's where I use usually right there. The old place, Lloyd's. That was our hangout. We're working up here. We got breakfast at Lloyd's. I, I can't miss my turn up here. Sutar, Sutar. Rocky's Roadhouse. And somebody was saying stop by there. Oh, 
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the snow drive. We'll see you next tomorrow.